So I have one of these Lockwood 334 B45s laying around and I'm thinking maybe I should take this one and throw it on the milling machine. So first step, let's pull it apart. And hey presto, we have a lock in its uh, basic disassembled form, not completely disassembled, but um, enough for me at the moment at least. So I'm thinking I'll just do something very basic here. So what I'm going to do is mark out on this body where I might cut in a small window. Okay, so there is my outline, if you will, uh, for the window that I'm going to attempt to carve into this lock. Um, measured fairly roughly, but it um, should be good enough. And just quickly, here's the, uh, the finished result of the uh, modifications to the body. Now we have a small window through which to see the pins and springs and things. So um, something else I'll need to cut up is this cylinder so that we can see the pins and the springs. So I'll just take a moment to think about how I'm going to do that. So not a great deal of thought is going into this. Um, I'll work out the measurements uh, in terms of the uh, the diameter of the uh, milling bits shortly um, but for the moment I'll just draw a line across here just to give me an idea about where I might like to stop and um, we'll see how that goes Okay, so after a bit of milling action, this is what we end up with. Six cuts from the top down to a little bit beyond halfway through the cylinder. And they're basically two millimeters wide. So that's enough, more than enough, to be able to see the, uh, the pins and the springs clearly. And while we're at it, we may as well uh, modify this part as well. What I'm going to do is just uh, cut this back a little bit. I don't want to cut it back too far because it still needs to perform its function of holding the, uh, the cylinder in place. So I've done a bit of a, a mark here just to give me an idea as to where I might like to cut it back to and then I'll have a look and see how it actually performs and whether I need to cut back a fraction okay, so more. Okay, here's the modified um, kick adapter. 
And let me show you with the cylinder placed inside. This section has been cut back enough to be able to see the entirety of this first pin chamber. Um, I might like to just file this back a little bit further, but um, for the moment it seems like it's good enough. So I think what I'm going to do is put it all together and then I'll see what it looks like and if I feel the need to take it back a fraction further, maybe I'll do that then. And so after all of that milling and a little bit of sanding here and there, we have all of the pieces basically ready. Um, I could probably put some extra cuts in, but for the moment I'm feeling like this is enough, so I'm just going to go ahead and put the lock together and see how it looks and performs. Alrighty, so it's all back together. There's the window with the cylinder inside, and everything can be seen to be moving and operating and the lock still works nice and smooth so hooray it didn't kill anything which is always nice so i've kind of always wanted a lockwood cutaway and now i actually have one sweet actually i've been making a few cutaways lately bits, bits, a little bit of trial and error here and there and at the end of it, getting a few pointy, kind of reasonable cutaways. So, skills are progressing, and in the future I'm looking to take on some slightly more challenging projects, but um, for the minute I'll just keep on honing the skills and see how I go. So, anyway, just thought I'd share one of the things that I've been working on lately. So, now that I've done that, I'm going to bugger off, peace and respect to one and all, and I'll see you on another day. Bye for now. Oh.